Good day. I am Jessa Asui Kutin, a junior high school applicant, and this is my semi-detailed lesson plan. The learning area that I have chosen is Mathematics 8, with the learning competency, find the slope of a line given the equation. And the topic is about finding the slope of a line given the linear equation. I will start now with my teaching demonstration. Hello class, we request everyone to please stand for our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning! How's your day? Have you eaten your breakfast? Very good. So class monitor, please pass the attendance sheet after the class. Okay, so I can check if anybody is absent. So before we proceed to our topic, here are our objectives for today. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to first classify whether the equation is in standard form or y-intercept form. Second, find the slope of a line given the linear equation. And third, demonstrate accuracy in finding the slope of a linear equation. I hope that we can meet all these objectives at the end of the lesson. Okay? So before we'll start with a new topic, who can share to me or who can recapitulate the previous topic that we have. Yes, Jasmine. Very good. It's good that you still remember our previous lesson. So I guess you'll be very ready for our topic today. Am I right? That's great. Now, I want you to go to your group, same group that we had yesterday. I'll give you five minutes to work with your group. I have here linear equations, and all you have to do is classify whether it is in slope intercept form or in standard form. Are you ready? So now go to your group. Group one, here is your activity and group two. Time is up. Now let's check your answers. Let's start with the answer of group one. Group one, what's your answer for linear equation number one? y equals negative 4 over 5x plus 3 over 8. Your answer is in standard form. Why standard form? Okay, thank you for sharing your idea. Let's find out if you got the correct answer. The answer is slope-intercept form. So you will know later what slope-intercept form is. Now, group 2. What's your answer for linear equation number two? You answered slope-intercept form. Why slope-intercept form? Okay. So the correct answer is, this is in standard form. Now for number three, y equals 5x minus 8. So try to observe equation 1 and equation 2. So what do you think is equation 3? It is in? Very good. It is a slope intercept form. So who can now differentiate slope intercept form and standard form? Yes, Jericho? Very good. Thank you for sharing your idea on what slope-intercept form and standard forms are. Now, when we say standard form of a linear equation, it is in the form ax plus by equals c. While the slope-intercept form of a linear equation is in the form y equals mx plus b. So you can now Distinguish standard form and slope intercept form. That's great. So, to find the slope of a slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, it's very easy. The numerical coefficient of x is the slope. So, you just have to find m, the numerical coefficient of x. So, m is our slope if it is in the slope intercept form. Understand? Okay, great. So next, how to find the slope?
slope of a, st of a standard form. That is in the form ax plus by equals c. So first is we have to rewrite it to y equals mx plus b. So we have ax plus by equals c, the standard form. So how are we going to rewrite it, this into slope intercept form? So we have to transfer negative ax or ax to this side, so it will become negative. So we have by equals negative ax plus c. So dividing both sides by b, we have by over b for us to get y here in this side of the equation. So we have negative a over bx plus c over b. So simplifying the equation, we now have the slope intercept form y equals negative a over bx plus c over b. So who can share to me the slope of this equation? Yes, Jedi. Okay, thank you. So the slope is negative a over b. Very good. So all my students are brilliant. So relating it to the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b, the slope is negative a over b. So it's very easy, right? Do you have any question? And so far. So you can now identify what standard form and what slope intercept form is. Okay, so let me check if you really have understood our discussion. Now I want you to identify if it is in slope intercept form or in standard form, and then you also have to find the slope of the line. Okay, let's start. Number one y equals negative 5 over 4x plus 7. What's the form of this equation? It's in, very good, it's in slope intercept form. And what is the slope? Where's m? Yes, we have negative 5 over 4. Very good. Now, number 2, y equals 5x minus 25. It is in what form? Yes, Kathleen. This is in, very good, this is in slope intercept form. And the slope of the line is, yes, Jaime? Very good, the slope is 5 because 5 is the numerical coefficient of our x. Now for the last equation, 3x minus 6y equals negative 18. So what form is this? This is in? Yes, Elijah? Okay, very good. This is in standard form. So what is the slope of this line? How are we going to find the slope? We have to divide A with B and find the negative sign. So we have our a here is 3 and our b is 6. So we have 3 divided by 6. The slope is very good, positive 1 half or 1 half. So you really have understood our lesson for today. Good job, guys. I hope that you will not forget what we have discussed today. So since all of you understood our topic, I want you to get one half sheet of paper and then answer the linear equations that are written here in this test paper. So I want you to identify the form of the equation, either it is in slope intercept or in standard form, and also find the slope of the line in these linear equations. So I'll give you 10 minutes to answer. Okay, are you done? Let's check your paper. Pass your paper. 
Wow, I see that everyone passed the test for today. So, good job, guys. Now, I have here box that contains reward for those who participated and did great for today's lesson. So, get your reward. Okay, congratulations, everyone. So, I hope that, again, you will not forget what you have learned for today.